Welcome to the second episode of Abide TV as we continue to talk about different issues pertaining to our abiding in Christ every day. Uh, some of the same things we talk about on the Abide Radio podcast, but just packaged down to these three-minute challenges or encouragements. And I want to change what I was going to talk about on the second episode because of something that happened to me just today. I was out at Snagger Park in downtown Lakewood having a prayer station for about almost two and a half hours. And in that time, came across one gentleman who had a lot of questions, uh, uh, questions and objections about Christianity. And as helpful as it is to have a list of the 100 most asked questions and objections, you know that you're not always going to get questions refined or restrained to that list of 100. There's always things out there, always new questions, always new objections. And this gentleman had a lot of things that he was talking about and asking that... Some of them I was familiar with, but some of them I wasn't so much familiar with, and I think I know why. A lot of them were obscure books that he was coming across, but nevertheless, sometimes we can say to ourselves, you know, I'm not going to go out and share the gospel until I know how to answer every question that somebody might have. Well, obviously, you're never going to get to that point. None of us are. I would simply pass on to you the encouragement that myself and many others have gotten from Mark Spence at Living Waters, and that is study the last question that you were asked. In other words, if somebody asks you a question and you're not sure how to answer it, make that your point of study for the next couple of days. And so, just like my encounter today with some of the things that gentleman asked me, I think I know what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and research it anyway and spend the next day or two looking more into these issues. So that, should I run across this man again or should I come across somebody else who has read the same book that this guy did and has some of the same problems or objections, I can talk more intelligent with them about it. Because it can be so overwhelming, all the different things that there is to learn, all the different things that we should know, but we've got to start somewhere. And I love that advice to study the last question that you were asked. Now, very quick, I want to apply that to our time in God's Word as well. In that sometimes we can be very overwhelmed, I think, in terms of, I mean, we're, we're supposed to be people of the book, right? And so we should know the Bible and know the Bible better than anything else in life. But I think the reality for a lot of us is that's just not quite the case. And sometimes we can say, boy, there's just so much. I've got so much to learn and so much more to read. I just don't even know where to to start. And sometimes we just don't start at all, do we? So I would encourage you to start somewhere. You know, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and be an expert on every book and every verse of the Bible, but you can start heading down that direction. Pick a book and begin to study that book in depth. Read it, but also go deeper. Study it more in depth. And over the course of a few months, maybe you'll get that book under your belt and you can move on to another book. Start somewhere. If we always step back and say, there's just so much to learn, I'm never going to start, we're never going to learn anything. So whether it be answering objections or just better knowing the Bible that we live by, start somewhere, take it one at a time, and let God guide you and direct you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Abide TV this week. Until next time, Abide in Christ.